Tesla Cybertruck pair spotted showing air suspension height differences. One pickup seems to be set to its lowest ride height level, while the other one is sitting much higher. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. We already know that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to feature an air suspension setup, as attested by several sightings, including a set of photos of a seemingly broken down prototype left on the side of the road. Sandy Munro even did a video analysis of the aforementioned unit, underlining the fact that it's a pretty conventional fully independent suspension, with the bonus of a rear wheel steering setup. However, what we haven't seen until now is a direct comparison between the different ride height levels that will presumably be selectable from the central touchscreen display on the dashboard. But here's where the video embedded above, shot by Jeff Roberts and published on his YouTube channel, comes to give us a helping hand in checking out the differences. Shot and published yesterday, the drone flew over video shows what's going on at Tesla's Texas Gigafactory as a whole. But at one point, the eye in the sky directs its attention to the supercharger station next to the factory, where a pair of Cybertrucks were topping up their batteries. And by the looks of it, the pickup on the left seems to be set to its lowest suspension setting, while the one on the right is seemingly in the highest possible position, although we can't know for sure. Some vehicles with air suspension usually have two or three ride height modes, but others come with additional special use modes, such as an access mode for low height parking garages or an extended height mode for when the car is stuck on an obstacle while off-roading. In the past, Elon Musk hinted that the Cybertruck would come with an adaptive suspension system that integrates with the company's latest hardware 4.0 computer, which could theoretically adjust the ride height automatically depending on factors such as driving speed, steering angle, and, using the built-in cameras, the condition of the road. We'll probably know more when the much-anticipated all-electric pickup debuts sometime toward the end of this month, as the automaker's CEO said. As always, let us know what you think in the comments section below.